You can see the physical devastation that the explosion at the Raffo Township Storage and Maintenance Building caused. There was cleanup in here today, but it also destroyed several homes on North Colebrook Road, causing emotional trauma for residents. I talked to the man who lived in this house about his very close call. The blast came down through here. Um, I never knew it hit me and, and not, not a thing, uh, you know, just a few scratches on me, Sir. which is the Lord. It's oh God. Greg Studenroth chokes back tears, recalling the frightening moments during the explosion at the Raffo Township Storage and Maintenance Building next door to his home. The entire ceiling was down on top of me. He was trapped underneath the rubble when help came knocking. One of the township workers, Jim, came in the door and was hollering my name, asking for me. And I, I said, I'm, I'm under here. I said, help me, help me, help me. And uh, fortunately, <laughs> He caught me off underneath that plaster. Once outside, he saw what looked like a war zone. The whole Raffo Township was on fire. And the explosion after explosion after explosion, there were tires blowing up. It was surreal. His wife and son were safe. So were neighbors and the township workers. The dog came home hours later. It is a miracle. Everyone's OK. Even these township workers, they, they, they're the ones that put their life on the line. His house is destroyed and condemned. It's totally gone. Uh, there's nothing in there that isn't blown up. The family is staying at a neighbor's home and thankful to have each other and the community's support. It is unbelievable. Or these people just, they don't ask questions. They just act. It's incredible. We have great neighbors. Craig, definitely grateful, thankful he and his family are all right. They were actually planning to go on vacation to Ocean City, Maryland to drive down later in the morning when all of this happened. Now they are being helped by friends. The Red Cross is helping other families in this area. And tonight the township supervisors are holding a meeting at the East Fairview Church of the Brethren. Live in Lancaster County, Barbara Barr, News 8.